Hello everyone and welcome to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Tracing. I'm Garrett and tonight we're going to film the moon through my 8 inch Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope. And as always, if you like what you're seeing, please be sure to subscribe and share with anyone you may know who also is interested in astronomy and storms so that they can also follow along on this new journey. We're starting off our astrophotography journey close to home with our nearest neighbor. Tonight, the moon is at 46.5% waxing crescent. I'm hoping that the clouds work with us because currently we're sandwiched in between many different weather systems here in Middle Tennessee and we're out here on a pretty humid night, so I hope everything goes well. Now I've done a video kind of like this before, but this time I want to do it a little bit differently. This time I'm going to film the moon directly through the telescope itself and I'm also going to hook the camera up to my 2x Barlow lens and film the moon that way as well so we can get some much tighter shots. All you need to begin is a T-ring, which I have here, the basic Celestron T-ring, and a DSLR camera. And you screw it in. Once we get the camera on, we gotta get the moon into frame and into focus. Having live view available on your camera makes this step much easier. One thing I do to help out getting things into focus is whenever I have the moon in frame, I zoom in in live view mode and tighten my focus even more that way. Here we are shooting at 1 50th of a second at ISO 100. And that one's a little bright. Here we are now shooting at 1 80th of a second, also at 100 ISO. That looks a little bit better. Let's step it up just a little bit more. Now here we are at 1 100th of a second, also at 100 ISO. I'm keeping the ISO as low as possible, so that way we can hopefully get the best picture possible. And here is at 1 1 25th of a second, and I'm getting to like how this looks. We'll try and step it up a little bit more, but it may be too dark. And now here we are at 1 1 60th of a second. For me, that's a little too dark, so I think we'll stick with 1 1 25th. And finally, here we are with a pretty good picture. I may attempt some stacking and post-processing, but that's something I'm still in the very, learn very early learning stages of. Whenever I kind of get that figured out, I'm planning on doing a video series on post-processing because that seems to be a thing that confuses a lot of people, myself included. Now, let's do the same thing again, but this time, hooking this 2x bottle lens up to this T-mount. As you can see, we are much tighter in than we were before, making focusing much more difficult. If I had a two-speed focuser, I could do a better job at this. I found that again, if I zoom in on the live view, it makes this a bit easier. Another thing you may notice here is the slight wavy motion of the moon. This is caused by the turbulence up high in the atmosphere. It's a very humid night here in Middle Tennessee, so it's a little bit worse than normal. And again, we have to play with our exposure settings to find what you're happiest with. Here we are at 1 40th of a second at 800 ISO. And you can see things are a little blurry because I think unfortunately it's so humid out that my primary mirror in the telescope is actually getting a little dew on it. So we'll try to bump down our ISO a little bit now. Let's bump our ISO down from 800 to 400. Again, at 1 40th of a second. Now it's a little dark. So we'll slow the shutter up a little bit. Let's try 1 15th of a second. Again, at 1 15th of a second. Now you can see that we're finally kind of getting somewhere, but unfortunately it looks like my primary mirror is getting dew on it and I really need to get it back inside the house. And that is a waxing crescent moon through an 8-inch Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope. Again, please be sure to subscribe and follow along for more. And as always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy.